Really, I think it's important to note that these victims could be from anywhere. They could be men, they could be women. We have some victims that came from very upper middle class neighborhoods and were trafficked right under their parents' noses. I think these guys saw me as yeah, the perfect target. They made one guy in charge and he, we call it groomed, but he just kind of spent a lot of time with me always around in school. I mean, this is right in my high school. You have your typical boyfriend model where there's a pimp who actually recruits a girl by pretending to be a boyfriend. And one day he asked me if I wanted a ride home from school. And I was 15. And I thought, well, this is great, you know, because by then I've got a crush on him. I said, sure. And we get into his car uh, and he didn't take me home. He took me to his house. You know, I had that feeling inside that something wasn't right. This goes on in your small communities. Um, Toledo, Ohio, for example, is a very big city with human trafficking, and the FBI actually considers Toledo as one of the recruitment cities. I thought, you know, I know him. Um, I go to church with this guy. He goes to my school. Yeah, you're being silly, Teresa. And so I went to his house with him. And he was just like, hey, come on inside, you know, I'll show you around. And again, I had that feeling, but I was like, no, you know, it, it's going to be fine. He likes me. And so I went inside and I got drugged and then I got raped. And several days later, he came to me and said, we have pictures. And he blackmailed me. 